you gotta press the stop button. It's judgment day. You got the side button until you can use your bomb. Welcome to another episode. I want to thank personally each and every one of you guys who have been subscribing to the channel and who has been reviewing this channel. Um, it's, it was impressive to see uh, that I had so many people watching this channel and we have done reach for the viewing side. We have done reach over 3.4 thousand people have uh, been watching this channel and subscribing has been over 100 we got 113 so i am very happy that i am um, able to entertain and show people my arcade machines and also explaining uh how to take care of them and the use of the arcade machines and what you get when you buy an arcade one-up machine um it's been a really roller coaster ride because the pandemic is over now and everything is going back to normal um, there's been times when I've been missing because of work schedule during the pandemic. So I want to thank each and every one of you guys once again from the bottom of my heart for viewing this. And um, it, it's, it's, been, it's been real, it's been fun, and I'm hoping to continue with more. And I'm hoping to get more subscribers. So if you guys enjoy it, please just keep watching. Uh, share it with your friends. Let everyone know about this channel. Um, I understand the RK One Up world. Uh, community has been growing there's a lot of youtubers out there who has uh, all different kinds of setup for the RK one up um, in their home um, I'm one of them to likes to show my stuff off that I have and also like to educate like I said once again like to educate people on what they're getting into when they purchase these things in their home um, so it's, it's it's been wonderful and I want to thank you guys once again for um, helping me out with this channel uh, today episode is uh, we finally got the Terminator 2. It's been a while since we got it. And it's very hard up here in the desert uh, in California to uh, get anything because uh, things run out of stock. Um, it's very hard to get a PlayStation 5, which I have one now. Um, it's very hard to even get an Xbox Series X, better or less get an arcade system. Or to get an Oculus Quest 2, which I have that finally. Um, it's very hard to get a lot of stuff up here. So when you're able to get it and it's available, you jump on it as quick as, I, as you can. 
and T2 Terminator 2 was uh, available and I jumped on it as quick as I was able to get it and now I have it. Um, I'm also had purchased on um, put on hold to get is the NFL Blitz which is the next one I want to get and the also Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, right now those two are definitely sold out. They're very hard to get and um, so it's going to be a while before I can get uh, my hands on those. But right now uh, we have the T2. Now the Terminator 2 was a project for me, my daughter and myself um, because uh, she, my daughter never put an arcade one-up machine together. So uh, she did a very, very good job putting this together. And uh, with my little help with the instructions, uh, she did a very, very wonderful job. And you guys will see um, this cabinet. And I think she did a lot better job than I did when I put these up. Now these ones behind me, she never put up. Uh, I did these on my own and they took like anywhere from an hour to hour and a half. The Terminator 2, because it's a new project for my daughter, uh, it took us four hours to put it together. And it's taller than the rest of my arcade machine, which kind of threw me off. But uh, once we got it together, it's been fun. We had fun playing it. Uh, and my daughter is really, really happy that she was able to do this with her dad. Um, and as you saw in the last episode, she was a guest on my show. Uh, so she helps me out uh, tremendously uh, with the, the, the holding the camera and helping with the audio and then now she's learning to edit videos so um, so she's gonna be my producer so <laughs> so it's wonderful to have a, a 12 year old that's interested in arcade machines like her dad um, so the project for the arcade uh, T2 cabinet was a, a very very uh, rough cabinet it was it had so many parts but the, the hardest was the wires and being able to uh, calibrate the light guns um, at first it, 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 it didn't take too too well and it took me a while for that to unplug it plug it back in unplug it plug it back in and just to get it to work and then we finally got it to work um, and then the Wi-Fi, uh, for some reason, one of the wires was loose that shouldn't have been loose. So I had to take it off, um, straighten the wires out, and then reconnect the wires, screwing them back in to the base. So that way it has a Wi-Fi uh, signal on it. Now, the downside to this is, and I will show it to you, um, is that the Wi-Fi is basically just for leaderboard. So there's not like... You can have other players jump in to play with you like you do on the NBA Jams, which is the one right here behind me. Uh, the NBA Jams behind me has Wi-Fi and people can jump in and play with me four players. And I could be player one, so three other players can play and then we could be a four player game. Um, but T2 doesn't have that. T2 is just strictly leaderboard who has the highest score. You can see other scores from people who've been playing it and you have to overcome that score and to be top. Um, I don't know if it's a world thing where it's around the world like NBA Jams. I can see it uh, from just not the local areas, but people outside the local area. Um, I don't think T2 has that, but it has a cool behind the scenes making of this cabinet, which is a bonus because I never saw how they when at the time when Terminator 2 the movie came out how big and successful that movie was how they came up with the concept of doing this arcade machine and so it's wonderful to see that they added that to this cabinet so that way you got the idea of seeing it and you get a little cameo appearance of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger smiling in the chair with the director um, it's, uh, it's a wonderful treat to see how this all came about and then you get a general understanding of how this came and how successful this arcade machine became um, back in the days. Um, but other than that, it is fun. Um, the, like I said, another downside to it is that the light gun is totally plastic, which is normal because in the arcade machines, the, the light guns were plastic. 
but it never had this uh, rumble optic feedback where you have this rumbling back, but it's, instead of it rumbling, it's kind of like knocking. Like if somebody is like lightly jackhammering into a wall or something like that, or or into something or, or it's something uh, metal that's it's it's got that funny click. And I would rather have the rumble like you would have in a PlayStation Five or an Xbox controller when you get the optic feedback and you get the rumble. Um, I rather have that than than the little clicking sound that you would see and, and you would hear in a video. So. Um, you know what? Let's let's stop talking about it. Let's just go over here and check it out. And um, I will do the turn on, let it light up, let it boot up. You see all the features. I'll show you everything that this case it has to offer when you purchase it. Okay, so see you guys over there to the T2 section. Hello, everyone, and we are here at the Terminator 2 Judgment Day cabinet. As you can see, it's a very tall cabinet. You have the T2 and you have the hot, the riser that came with it. And you have the decal of big Arnold Schwarzenegger on the side holding the shotgun and T2 Terminator, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Um, so let's get to see how this puppy looks light up. So let's turn this on. And as you can see the marquee lights up, which I'm not too happy with the marquee because it's a two piece set, not a one piece marquee set like most of the other arcade one-up machines are um, so as you can see it comes on screen with the RK one-up logo so now we here at the main screen where to the side here on my right you have the leaderboard score and like I said it's only a leaderboard score so no one can play with you like the NBA Jam does, where somebody could just join in and play with you. This is just strictly for leaderboard, topping each other's scores. Then right here you have the T2 Judgment Day game play, where here's the making of the Terminator 2, which was back in the days. Now the making of Terminator 2 is the actual arcade machine, not the actual arcade one-up machine, uh, how they made this. This is showing you what came up with the concept of making a Terminator 2 arcade machine when the T2 movie first came out back in the days. So that's what that making, uh, making of the T2 is the making of the original arcade machine. And you have your credit and then your, your uh, settings right here on the, on the bottom. So let's go, let's pick the light gun up. Let's start a game. So now it's showing you the gun and showing you how the distance you gotta be from the arcade machine to all the, to get the gun thing to work. So I already have it calibrated already, so I don't need to do all that. And you hear that rumble? That's the light gun rumbling. So let's hit uh, hit start. It's judgment day. Fire at will. And you hear that knocking? That's the rumble the rumble feedback that you get on the gun that's why i said it has a terrible knocking sound to it so it sounds more like somebody's tapping on a hard plastic which that's what it's doing it's tapping on hard plastic um but it's a terrible sound i, I would rather have just a regular rumble to where it just vibrates the gun instead of just knocking Get those boxes down there to give you um, 
extra health. Some give you extra health on your gun. Some give you shield. But you gotta make sure you don't hit the humans. The smart bomb. That's how the game is. I mean, if you've been a Terminator fan, you was a T2 fan, you, you understand how this game played. Like I said, there's a couple of things on here I didn't like. So we'll discuss that on my final thoughts. So let's move back over to my arcade area and I'll give you my final judgment of what I think about this machine. So this is my final thoughts on Judgment Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Um, it could have worked a lot better. The haptic feedback on the controllers could have been done a lot better without, without having all that knocking. The long cords is not necessary to have. The speakers could be a lot better because like I said, my NBA jams, my Pac-Man, my Mortal Kombat are much louder than that. And the fact that it has two separate pieces for the marquee, which is the light and the sign itself you have to put together. I, I think they should have went back and kept the original one unit marquee I, to me I that's what I think um, but overall it's a nice game it's wonderful to play to share, spend time with your family and friends uh, me and my daughter had a wonderful time playing it um, they could improve the and the live features as well um, I think it would be cool to have a second person through the internet like NBA Jam to play with you on, on T2 where you know NBA Jam they play with you or against you so it would be cool if they did that and not just have it just for the leaderboard so hopefully if they ever do an XL cabinet for this one that they will change all those features they will make it much more better I know when they first push these things out they just put it together real quick and sit back and wait to see what everyone says how they think how they feel about the cabinets and communities like us who are RK one up fans and enthusiasm people who collect these things um, are giving you that feedback we make these videos to give not only the people the information of what they would get when they get an arcade machine but to let RK one up know that hey you guys could did a little bit better job with the arcade cabinet, especially if you making people spend uh, when they first come out seven ninety nine, six ninety nine. You could have did a lot better for that type of price. You could have made it all made automatically an XL cabinet if that was the case for that type of money. Um, even four ninety nine, you could have still made it a lot better than what this is. But all in all, it's still a good cabinet. It's still uh, it's still fun to play. Um, and I, I, I have fun playing with it. It's, it reminds me back in the days when I used to drop quarters into this one as well, playing it and just loving it right after I saw the Terminator 2 movie. I went right to the arcade place and played it and just love it. So, so that's my final thoughts on it. I, it could be done a lot better than what this is, and I hope they do an XL cabinet to make it even much more better than what it is right now so i'm hoping that that's what they would do but uh you never know we'll see with the other xl cabinets coming out for other machines um this is just a trial run so i'm sure they're gonna be okay well you know we'll do an xl cabinet and we'll do this and we'll add this and do this and we'll light up the deck we'll light up the guns we'll light up you know with we'll, add this add that add that and make it much more better than what it is right now so i'm hoping rk one up that you do that um so we'll just see so i want to thank everyone for watching this channel again i want to thank everyone who helped me hit the milestone of over 100 subscribers the views are outstanding you guys are watching my channel and i'm i greatly appreciate it you guys taking the time and viewing it um, for those who are still new just coming to this channel please hit that subscribe button 
Also, uh, hit the like button if you like this video and also hit that notification bell to it let you know whenever I put out another video, which I will be putting out one every Monday. Uh, next Monday, we will be doing uh, the rest of my cabinets and the years that it has and the function, functioning of the games, like what each of my cabinet games have. And I will be starting with next Monday, we will be doing Rampage. So Rampage, we'll be doing that and showing you Rampage as well as Gauntlet Joust Defender. And we'll show you how all those games work. So thank you guys for watching this channel. I wish you guys peace, love, and happiness. God bless. And have a wonderful Monday and be safe. Thank you and have a good night. Bye, everyone.